Mrs. Gonzalez. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. A little bit cold. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Mr. David Maganya, you're a, you're brave, sir. You know you're not wearing sweater. You you're not wearing sweater of anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I guess you're wearing warmed up. Se está calentando we, in a different way. You know, maybe drinking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> vodka, whiskey. I drink. I, uh, I drink. Uh, I, I drink a uh, uh, tea. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tea. That's what you, yeah. That's what you tell. That's what you tell to your wife. You know. That's what you say to your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Con piquete or sin piquete? Uh, no, 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 no alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's okay. Don't worry about that. Uh, All right. So, Mr. Joseph Cabrero, how are you, sir? Hello, hello. How are you doing, sir? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. You know, good. Excellent. I am doing good now as well. Yeah. Please. So you you were not able to join the class yesterday. I don't. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. This is that I had a usual session already. You know what I'm saying? So that's okay. why I wasn't able to. Connected yesterday. Yeah, not a problem in here. It's not pleasant with the of hearing the section. Uh, it's raining cats and dogs in the hurricanes and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about that. I understand. I mean, so there's no problem. The thing is that I, I now I'm familiar with your faces, maybe not with your all, all of your names. Because you know, it's for me. I don't know why, but it's difficult to remember people's names. But I never forget a face. Okay. So I have Mr. David Magana, Joseph, Elizabeth, Felipe, and then I have Raquel as well. So let's try not to waste time. And I think let's see, four, five participants is just okay. I know Mr. Magana, and also I think Elizabeth and most of you have already finished the platform. And this is just a reminder. Remember that it's a requirement by INSAFOR and it's, it's actually uh, the way for you to still continue in the program. I, I don't have to remind you about this because you know this better than me. I finished it today, teacher. Nice. So, and my plan is to help you review a couple of topics that we didn't have the chance to review during the last uh, first three weeks. So tonight, okay. we're going to go over, uh, I would say unit three or lesson three, uh, time for a change. And just to give you a, 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 an overview of what we did yesterday, this is what we did yesterday. It was actually pretty much a lot of stuff in there. The topic is uh, comparisons of equality and the grammar was as and as. Okay, so that's and for those of you who, who were able to join the class yesterday, I think you enjoy. And honestly speaking, I can tell you that this image, this picture describes most of our situation here in El Salvador. <laughs> okay, the bed sitting room. <laughs> yeah. Cualquier parecido a la realidad, pura coincidencia. <laughs> right, any it's coincidence. Yes, sir. Correct. And you see, even the paragraph below, I mean, in the background, it's saying, this is all right, you know, no problem. <laughs> yes, so the, the, the parents in, in the bed, and then you have the uh, baby with them, and the other one right below. Yeah, it's... It's a little bit funny, I would say, but it's sad at the same time, if you actually think about this. So that's why I think the grammar for tonight is going to help us understand comparisons. Why? Because we tend to compare places, products, people, friends, jobs. We, we pretty much compare anything and everything, right? We, we compare the past, we compare the present, etc. Okay. 
So that's the idea. So yesterday we practiced this conversation with, which, which was brief, but tonight I have a, another conversation. And uh, just to review the grammar, remember you say, you have description. If you think it's, it doesn't have enough space, you can say the kitchen is too small, or you can say the kitchen isn't big enough. And as I said yesterday, this is one of the uh, great tents, or sometimes this is one of the disadvantages that English language has, okay? Because you can say, or, or you can uh, transmit the same idea, but with a, in a different way. Don't you think so? Teacher, what is the meaning as many? Tanto como, that's how you oh, say in Spanish, okay. yes. Okay. Yes, for example, you, you. yes, so you may say there aren't enough bedrooms or there isn't enough close, closet space. So it's up to you. So the conversation that we practiced yesterday was between Mr. Dean and Mrs. Dean and also their daughter, Jenny. And that the Mr. Dean stated, what do you think? You know, asking uh, his wife, what she thinks about the room they're, they're looking for. And then she, uh, she says, Mrs., you know, Mrs. Dean, she says, well, it, it has just as many bedrooms as the last apartment. So, and the, the context in here, or my point is comparisons of equality. So, so you are comparing a house with another one or an apartment with another one. Your, uh, your uh, ex, your, uh, your former car with the new car you have. The new dog that you have with the dog that passed away. And the example I gave you was between Rambo, a dog, and Firulais, okay? So that's the example. And if you're not able to read over here, so there's no problem. So, but what I want you to understand is when you compare people, things, places, animals, etc. so you, you can use this grammar, tanto como, okay? So as and as, that's what they mean. Okay. Uh, so if okay. so, excuse so I me. I confuse I confuse this with as soon as possible. That's an that's a, an expression actually. You may say send this as soon as as possible. Okay, or this is not the same as yesterday, etc. But those are just phrases, you know, expressions. Okay, but okay. but in this case, if you wanna describe something or somewhere or someone, as you got, yeah, you gotta say, you gotta use as here, and then you use an adjective, and then you put the, other, the as over here. In other words, the adjective goes in the middle, that's it. So you would say, uh, so you, you go to the shelter, okay? And you see uh, there's, there are many dogs, but there are two that you like the most. You have Rambo, okay, Aguacateri, and then you have fetal lies, same species in there, okay? So, and then you say, I like them both. Fetal lies is as playful as Rambo. Entonces, fetal lies es juguetón como Rambo. So that's what we're saying over here, okay? Or you may also say the opposite, you know, Rambo is not as playful as fetal lies, etc. So, but all I'm saying, and let me just go back in here, is that you compare the dogs in here. The adjective goes in the middle, okay? It doesn't really matter if it's negative or if it's positive, but the adjective needs to go in the middle. Just to continue with this, if you wanna state an action, you know, how something it's done, okay? So we say, Rambo, what's the action in here? Can somebody tell me what the action is about over okay. here? Runs, that's right. Yes, and here is the same thing, you know, Rambo runs, and then here, what's the quality? Fast. And since we're talking about that both run, at, you know, in the same speed, we say Rambo runs as fast as Firulais. Corre tan rápido como Firulais, okay? And if it's the negative, you would say Rambo doesn't run as fast as Fido Lies. Why? Because Fido Lies is faster. 
but in this case, since both dogs, you know, run in, in, as fast as the other one, that's why we say as, as and as. All I'm saying, my friends, is that if you want to describe two things and you think that the, the things are the same in the same way, you, you would use this grammar, okay? And then if it's an adverb, it goes in the middle. If it's an adjective, it goes in the middle. All you gotta do is to be careful if you're using an, a, a verb like ran, sings, etc. Okay. A, another example in here. So take a look at this. Fidelize does not run as fast as Rambo. Okay. So be careful with that. And, and if you take this to a living space, you may say an apartment, or you can also uh, have a house or just a room. So you compare apartment number one with apartment number two. Okay. So, and then, for example, this one, the first apartment has two bedrooms. The second one has two bedrooms. If you use the grammar as, okay, and then uh, you use bedrooms, all right, and then you got to put this. In this case, you can say the apartment, the first apartment has as tanto como, how, would you, how do you say that? Can somebody help me over here? That's many. Correct. The apartment, okay, the apartment, the first apartment has as many bedrooms as the second one, okay? Or the second one doesn't have as many bedrooms as the first one. Like in this case, you see bathrooms. The first one has one bathroom, the second one has two bathrooms. So in this case, you can say the first apartment doesn't have as many bathrooms as the second one. Okay. So, and this is this is the review that I want to uh, to give you in here. And this is the structure, like we say. In this case, we have my car. What is the adjective of my car? Everyone, what's the adjective for my car? Comfort. Comfortable. Comfortable. That's correct. Comfortable. Yes. And then here we go. My car is as comfortable as yours. Okay, what about the class? Okay, you have a class. The cl my class is not as difficult as yours. Okay, and then if you use an adverb, my sister drives, my sister drives as carefully as me. Maneja tan cuidadosamente como yo. We don't say that in, in Spanish actually, pero maneja bien, that's what we say. O igual que yo, that's what we say, same as me. I don't think uh, I don't sing as well as my best friend. But all I all, all you have to remember, because right now you're gonna practice. Okay, this is my explanation, and I think you're gonna understand or get this uh, information with practice, and that's the idea. That's what you're here for. Okay, so to summarize, comparisons of equality is used to show that two things, people or are, are similar. There is no difference between the subject and the object. So what I'm saying is that we use as followed by an adjective or as followed by an adverb, or in this case, you're talking, this is an action. My sister drives, my mom cooks, etc., or she speaks, she drives, etc., to say that two things are the same or not the same. Okay. So you don't say this is better, this is worse, or, or more beautiful. No, we don't use that type of grammar. But before we move forward, can somebody tell me, can somebody tell me, please, if you have any idea besides the dog, you know, <laughs> okay, the meaning of rough patch, a rough patch, if you have an idea, or to go through a rough patch. Anybody? So what do you think a rough patch means? Que significa rough patch? 
Como... Sin buscarlo. Ajá, ya lo busqué. Ay, sí, sin buscarlo, no, sin buscarlo. ¿Verdad? That's okay, pero... We're supposed to, at least to guess. All right, if you don't know, no problem. So, take a look at this image. A rough patch. It's a period of trouble, difficulty, or hardship. If you still don't get it, not a problem. All right? So, don't worry about anything. Let me exemplify it with this. Can you see it in there? So, go through a rough patch. That means pasar un mal momento, un momento difícil, una mala racha. Don't tener un buen momento. Okay? You say she has a lot of problems. At the moment, she's going through a rough patch. Do you consider this year, 2020, to be a very long, rough patch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would I would say that's the case. Yeah. If you wanna say, yes. So if you want to say I I, I have a uh, my family is going through a rough patch, okay? Como por un bache, verdad? Por un mal momento, etc. Una mala racha. That's what we say. Or bad luck. Or a bad situation. So instead of saying. Uh, I'm going through a very uh, hard situation. You can say I, I'm going through a rough patch. All right? Una mala racha. Okay? You see uh, what happened in Mejapa, COVID-19. And then we have this hurricane that fortunately did not affect us that much, hopefully. So uh, to go through a rough patch. That's the word of this evening, everyone. But, you know, that's not the main topic for tonight. You know, the main topic would be something different. And that's the one. I'm going to send to you this information in the chat, both in the personal chat and in the uh, this meeting chat. And I'll be uh, splitting you. I'm going to divide you in, group, in, in pairs. And you're going to ask your classmates the following. But tonight, I'll be choosing a volunteer. Let's see. Jose Cabrero, help me on this, sir. Oh. See this, so there are only a few windows. If you wanna put enough, all right, you can just put enough at the end and just to make this into a negative. So how would you say it? Uh, in this case, I don't know, teacher. Maybe there are only a few, doesn't, doesn't have enough, a few windows. Yeah, it, but if you already have, if you already have, there are, Let's start with this. And then just with the negative. So you will go with there aren't or there are no. not. There and are then, not enough. Correct. There are not enough windows. Okay. And then we delete this. And we delete this as well. All right. So you will say there aren't enough windows. Just like this. Okay. And then I have another one, and that's the response. You see, there aren't enough windows. When you speak, all right, in spoken English, you we, we say there aren't enough windows. We don't say there are not enough windows. You just do this when you're right, okay? <laughs> what about the next one? Okay, I'm gonna ask a lady over here. Uh, Miss Elizabeth Gonzalez, would you help us on this one? <laughs> the point is this, it's not bright enough. It's not bright enough. Okay, another way to say it is not bright enough. What's the opposite? What's the opposite of bright? Uh, dark. Yeah, you may say dark. Okay, so instead of saying it's not bright enough, you can say it's it's dark and, but just to emphasize it's too it's dark dark it's too dark it's too oh, dark yes you got dark. it correct so you go it's two and then you go dark over dark. there nice that's just like that all right so that's what i was telling you that in english you can say that the same thing but in a different way okay that's the point in here. Another example, number three. My house has three bathrooms and yours 
has three bathrooms as well. And then if you want to use this grammar, and let me just go back, okay? Uh, this one is this, you can see, and here is two bedrooms and the other one has two bedrooms, but in this case, it's only apartment. But if you wanna put this into a house example, so you have my house has three bathrooms and your house has three bathrooms. Number, no, number one, you have to uh, see if the two things that you're describing are the same. My house has three bathrooms and then your house has three bathrooms too. So no problem over here. So remember that the grammar is of equality, comparisons of equality. We don't say yours is bigger or is better or is worse. No, we say it is the same, okay, or not the same, okay? In this case, I'm going to ask uh, Mr. David Nagania, could you help us with this? Or let me give you the beginning. My house has, and then, uh -huh, has, and then? Has, has. Correct. And, and, no, but in this case, because we're, we have to use a quantity, okay? Many. Yes, my house has as many, many, uh -huh, many, bathroom. many bathrooms as, as, Your, as your house, correct. As your house. as your house. Yes. So now do you notice over here that we don't use the numbers? Now instead of using the numbers, we use many. Okay. Okay. Tanto como. So my house has as many bathrooms as your house. Or you can say my house doesn't have as many bathrooms as yours because mine only has one bathroom or two. And here we have the response. So my house has as many bathrooms as your house. So I'm gonna send this information to you and I'll be dividing you into purse. And all you gotta do is the same. You read the original statement and then your classmate tells you the uh, statement but using the grammar given. All right? Are we good with this? Yes, teacher. Thank you. So in total, okay. you're gonna have you're gonna have the opportunity to practice 20 of these phrases. Don't don't I mean don't complete them all. Just go two by two or three by three because we don't have the time. All right. And there you go. I just sent it to you through the personal chat, and I'll be sending the same information in this uh, meeting chat. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to split you into purse so you can practice. If you have any questions, you know, I'll be visiting you, visiting most of the uh, to, uh, visit you in the uh, breaker rooms. So join, please your partner. All right, so David is with Katia, Elizabeth with Iris, Angel with Rodrigo, Jose with Noria, Felipe with Raquel. So, um, Okay. 
this in here, please. So open the uh, the information that I sent to you, please. I'm on this speaker. <laughs> All right. Yeah, not a problem. All right, so we're gonna start with number four because we already, uh, we have already seen number one through three, okay? So okay. you don't have to go in order, but if you want to uh, to do it, you know, that's okay. So not a problem. I'm gonna share the screen with you, all right? Oh, okay, thank you. Yes. All right. You should be seeing the screen right now. Um, there we go. So it's not convenient enough. So in here, you you gotta say the opposite. Inconvenient. Inconvenient. Example. Yes. For example, and in in the real life situation, you will have to provide the reasons why you think it's too inconvenient. Okay. Or it's not convenient enough. You would say it's too dark, or it's too far from my from the university or from my job, but it's too expensive, etc. Or too small. But this is just a beginning. So I'm gonna ask you, uh, Mr. David Magaña, it's not convenient enough. Um. Can you, can you use two? Yeah, you will say it's two. It's it's not two. No, in this case, you say it's two, and then the opposite of or convenient. What's what's the opposite of convenient? Oh, uh, inconvenient. Exactly. So you will say it's two. It. Uh huh. It's it, two. Two inconvenient. You got it. I'm gonna help you out. So if you click on the image over there on the on the flashcard, you can actually see the the answer. Okay. It's too inconvenient. Yeah, you're not supposed to do this, but you know, if you wanna help your classmates, let's see. So, a uh, Katia, it's not spacious enough. Why would you say this in the using two? Um, it's too, um, it's too the opposite, the, the opposite of spacious will be as small. It's too small. Yes, it's too small, just like that. Yeah, you got it, it's too small. You see, or it's too cramped. The oh, cramped is, cramped. you know, it's, yeah, there's not, it's not enough space. So let's see, uh, Mr. Magaña, it isn't safe enough. What's the opposite of safe? Uh, danger, dangerous. Dangerous, you could say it's, you know, it's too? It's too dangerous. You got it, sir. And then you click on here and then you confirm it. It's too dangerous in there. All right. Nice. So keep so keep on so keep on practicing. You know, uh you may go two by two or three by three because we don't really have the time to do this. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So here we go. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Lisa mm. has two dolls. Mary has one doll. Oh. Uh, Lisa has. Lisa tiene tres perros y Mary tiene uno. I'm gonna share the screen with you. All right. So what? This is the one, right? Uh huh. Yes, I. Okay. Yeah. Gran suerte, cabal. Le pegué ahí. Ah, mira, a la, que, a la que nos va a costar más, pero... Sí. Vaya, entendamos Lisa. primero qué nos está pidiendo. Dice, Lisa has three dogs and Mary has one dog. Primero hay que ver si tienen la misma cantidad o la misma situación. In this case, they don't have the same dogs, right? The same number. Am I correct? Yeah. So, Lisa has 
Lisa has has three dogs and then Mary has one. So this needs to be negative. Okay? Then it needs to be negative. Como lo hacemos negativo? Como lo hacemos negativo si es el en tercera persona o una acción regular? Doesn't. Lisa doesn't. No aprendís qué? ¿Quién la quién la que tiene menos? Mary. Es Mary. Entonces, ajá. Mary no tiene tantos perros Ajá. como okay. Lisa. Exactly. So Mary. Mary. Ajá. And then negativo Mary. tercera persona. Eh. Doesn't. Ah, sí. Ajá. Okay. So Ajá. Mary. Mary doesn't have. 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 Si usted lo, have. lo uh, doesn't have. Ajá. Has many. As many. Many dogs. has least dog. Many has many how? Uh, many dogs. Uh, okay. Dog has Lisa. Yes. So Mary doesn't. No tiene. Doesn't have. No tiene. Mary doesn't have as many. Para poner cantidad ponemos as many. Y luego as. As many as. Okay. As many. As many, ¿qué? As many dogs. Do. Uh -huh. As su amiga. Lisa. Lisa. Uh -huh. like that. And then I just sent it to you. All right? Okay. And then Elizabeth, I send it to you, and then I'm going to send the same thing to you, uh, Iris. And then you can also double check if this is the correct one. You see? Mary doesn't have as many dogs as Lisa. Why? Because Lisa has three dogs. And Mary only has one. Yes? You see? Okay. Okay. So Lisa okay. has three dogs and Mary has one dog. Which means that, si utilizaran una, un comparativo, verdad? It, was, it would be, uh, Lisa has more dogs than Mary. Pero en este caso estamos okay. diciendo, no tiene, no tiene tantos como. All right? So that's why we go. Mary has one. Uh, Mary doesn't have as many dogs as Lisa. Just like that. Okay. My house has three bathrooms, and your house has three bathrooms. Primero tiene que ver. Están iguales en cantidad o en yeah. cualidad? You would say yes. Same amount. Yeah. The same number. So in this case, it has to be a positive statement, okay? So it has to be a positive statement, it is in Elizabeth. And then, could you do it, Elizabeth, if you wanna do it? Uh, my house has, 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 um, has bathroom, no, has bathroom. As many? As, as many. Uh, <laughs> As many bathrooms as your house. As your house, yes. Okay, ocupamos many para reemplazar el número. That's what okay. we do. Okay, okay, so that's what we do. So many replaces the number. Okay, and there you have it. My house has as many bathrooms as your house. Let me just go mm. with this one. This. La familia Jones and the Smiths. It is. This is number 11. The Jones, the Jones have two children, and the Smiths have five. Well, cinco hijos en estos días. Maybe my grandmother, you know, that's okay. But now, five, yeah. I think is yes. You know, I wish. Uh, but, mm -hmm. the, the Jones mm -hmm. uh, don't have has as many children. As mm -hmm. a, a Smith. As a Smith. Yes, you got it. The uh, Jones don't have as many children as a Smith. There you go. Why? Because a Smith, you know, they have una marimbita, like we said, right? <laughs> okay, you see, you see that one? The Jones don't have as many children as the Smith. All right, so try to keep on practicing, okay? So keep, keep on practicing. But right now, I'm going to uh, close the breaker rooms and then 
we're gonna move with something else because we don't have time, okay? Thank you. So you only have one more minute to keep on practicing. Thank you. Thank you. Hombre, la lámina. <laughs> All right, so Mr. Felipe. Hi, teacher. So uh, uh, let's, no, let, let's keep on practicing over here, all right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just very quickly. So just one second in here. So let me share the screen of the exercise you just completed with your classmates. You're gonna help me uh, with this statement. Can you help me with this, please? Do you see it? The one that says the Jones help two children and the Smith help five? Do you see it, Felipe? Yes. Uh, All right. The Smith mm -hmm. doesn't have Mm -hmm. As children, as many children. Uh huh. Uh huh. So the Jones don't have uh -huh, as many children, and then here. As right. the Smith. At the Smith, correct. We use many to replace the number. Okay. Instead of saying the Jones have two. Children and then Smith uh, have five. We say jo uh, Smith don't have as no, sorry, the Jones don't have as many children as the Smith, just like that. Okay, you may say, I don't have as much time as you, I don't have as much money as you. Okay, or I don't have as many friends as you. Okay, well, I don't have as 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 uh, much free time as most people do because right now we are working in a way. Nice. Let me stop sharing this screen with you and let let's move forward to the next exercise. Right now, it's going to be a speaking activity. Okay. So if you have your cell phone with you or if you're using your computer, be ready to take notes. But if you don't want to take notes, at least try to pay attention to this. And you're gonna tell me the main idea of the conversation and some details, okay? But before we move forward, I want you to stop to think about this. De los memes, verdad, que han salido de la tormenta, de la gente. <laughs> okay, so that's a good one over there. Uh, just for you to see how lucky we are, you know, thanks God over here, all right, due to the emergency. Nice, now let's go, let's go uh, straight to business and uh, let me share the screen with you. Here we go. One second. So the conversation you're about to listen to has to do with apartments for rent, all right? apartments for rent. You see a friend talking with another friend, with his friend, over the phone. So please pay attention and then let me know the main idea and then some details. Like for example, how much is that girl, you know, going to pay for the apartment? What is she looking for exactly, etc. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. All right, so just one second here. So you may grab a, a, pen, a pencil or a, and a page or just your cell phone and to complete this. And all right, here we go. 
Hello. Hello, Roger. This is Anne. Oh, hi, Anne. How have you been? And how's your new apartment working out? Well, that's what I'm calling about. You see, I've decided to look for a new place. Oh, what's the problem with your place now? I thought you liked the apartment. Oh, I do, but it's a little far from campus, and the commute is just killing me. Do you think you could help? I thought you might know more about the housing situation at the school. Okay. What's your budget like? I mean, how much do you want to spend on rent? Uh, somewhere under two hundred dollars a month, including utilities, if I could. Oh, and I prefer it to rent a furnished apartment. Hmm. And anything else? Yeah, I need a parking space. Well, I know there's an apartment complex around the corner that seems to have a few vacancies. I'll drop by there on my way to class today. Hey, thanks a lot. No problem. All right. So, um, any idea? Any details? Of course, you know that this is a conversation of someone who's looking for a place to live, to rent. Okay. But can somebody, let's see, Jose, could you give me a detail out of this conversation? Uh, something that you were able to perhaps, understand? Perhaps uh, the detail that I hear that the girl uh, thinks spend her past two thousand dollars a month to her apartment that she was working on it, you know, mm -hmm. because uh, she doesn't like how loose he her, her apartment in, in this case, right? So I think that she modified his apartment and he mm -hmm. tried to find some help to someone. All right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and she's looking space, for and looking for a space parking as well. Yeah. The, we we may we may think that she has a car, so she wants a parking space, and she's looking for a cheap apartment which is close to campus, right? Close to the university. So that that would be the idea, right, Jose? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna ask. Um, uh, let's see here, Raquel. Would you help us, please? Anything out of this? All right, so, so I think about the mm -hmm. parking spaces. Okay. I, I don't know. No, not a not a problem. I mean, I mean, no no problem here. Um, let me send to you the actual quiz tonight. I want you to take the quiz, you know, by yourself. Okay, out of this. So look at my screen. Let me uh, share this with you. Okay. Just one second. There you go. So in total, you have, let's see, like five questions. The first one is, what's the main topic of the conversation? You have three options. Number two, what does Anne like her current apartment? Number three, how much money does Anne want to pay for rent? Number four, let me take this away. Uh, Anne wants to rent an apartment that and number five, to help and Roger is going to. Okay, so uh, let me send the information to you so you can actually listen to this individually and take the quiz. Once you're done with the quiz, share your response, I mean your score in the chat, in the personal chat. Do we have an agreement, everyone? So what you need to do is listen to the uh, conversation in there, okay? Take the quiz and then share a screenshot of your score, okay? Do we say yes or do we say no? Yes, teacher. Okay, Yes. thank you, thank you. I mean, that's okay. Uh, remember that, uh, the reason why we're here is not to practice and that's why, you know, I want you to practice. But if you have uh, a bad connection, then that's okay. You gotta let me know because I understand. Don't worry about that. So uh, so I'm gonna give you one minute to complete the quiz. Let's say it's 9.48. Let's say uh, around 9.50. I'm gonna uh, send you to the breaker room so you can practice the conversation with your classmate, okay?
All right, so if you like, uh, share the score you get on the quiz, please. All right, there we go. We have uh, the first one coming, three out of five. That's okay. Good job. Anybody else? All right, so anybody else that would like to share the, uh, I mean, the score with in the chat? All right, so Mr. Felipe, let's see. That's okay, Sorry. sir. No, I mean, that's okay. And I think this conversation was a little bit more challenging because it's like a phone call, right? So, and that makes it a little, a little bit more complicated. But no problem, sir. That's why we're here, Philip. Thank you. Yes. We and then we, yes, that's correct. That's correct. We, we practice in there. And then we have Ellie in there. The great job. Okay, and then we have uh, next one, no problem. Okay, so let me send to everyone uh, right now the, uh, the uh, access to the conversation so you can actually see what they were talking about, okay? But before we move forward, let's see, uh, let's, let's take a look at the responses in here. I'm gonna ask. What's the, what's, the, what's the main topic of the conversation? I would say it is, a, I don't know, a search for a new apartment. Why doesn't Anne like her current apartment? Uh, maybe I think it's uh, far from campus. How much money does Anne want to pay for rent? Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Uh, I think it's no more than 200. Anne wants to rent an apartment that, yeah, she wants everything, right? Has already furniture. And 12, uh, to help Anne, Roger is going to, which is, which is this one, I don't really remember. Call a friend, do you remember? Check out. Or, or check out uh, an apartment. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I think that's the one. All right, let's say that that's the one, because I don't really remember. So let me uh, share with you the conversation so you practice because we're running out of time. And that thing, I mean, you're supposed to practice, you know, that's the attitude. And that's the intention over here. Okay, one second. I'm getting the information ready for you. I just sent it. It's in the personal chat, and now I'm going to uh, send the same thing in this meeting chat. There you go. Now I'm going to divide you or to split you into pairs, uh, and hopefully you're going to have the opportunity to practice with somebody else. Okay, just one second, and there we go. Um, okay. All right, so breakout rooms are open already, so let's go ahead and practice. I'm going to ask, uh, let's say, uh, Angel. Angel, let's stay here, please. I'm going to practice with you, sir, okay? Mr. Martinez. 
So Katia, you're with Noria. Elizabeth, you're with Ingrid. Uh, Felipe with Raquel. Dave with Iris. Uh, Jose with Rodrigo. Okay. All right, so Angel, stay here, please. You're gonna practice with me, sir, okay? Who's going to be Roger and who's going to be Anne? Me? All right, so uh, Angel, sorry to interrupt you, everyone. Angel. Okay, so Katia, uh, what, uh, can you please be Roger? And then let's see, Noria, can you please be Anne? Okay. 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 I'm going to start. Okay. Go ahead, please. Hello. Hello, Roger. This is Anne. Yes, I'm Anne. Oh, hi, Anna. How, how, how have you been? And how did your new apartment work now? Well, that's what I'm calling about. Usually, I, I still decide. People decide. decide to look for a new place. Oh, what's the problem with your place now? I thought you liked the apartment. Oh, I do, but it's really far from the country. In the comments, you just killing, killing me. Do you think you forget? I don't my I don't do my no more about the hosting situation near the school. Okay. What's what you bought a lot? Like I mean how much do you want to spend on rent? Mm, so our under um, two hundred a month including Utilities. 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 Mm -hmm. Utilities. If I call. Oh, and I put for the rent. Furnish uh, furniture. Mm -hmm. Furniture farm. Anything else? <laughs> mm, and anything else? Yeah, I need a uh, parking place. Well, I know there's an apartment complex around the corner that seems to have a few vacancies. I'll drop by there on my way to class today. Hey, thank you a lot. No problem. All right. So commute means to travel from home to work. In other words, you know, to travel to go to work. Okay. That That's mean. Commute. And then, yes. To travel to work. To work, yes. Commutar, okay. you know, or just viajar al trabajo. That's actually the translation. Like to move. Mm. Yes, correct. But just yeah. for to work, you know, that's the purpose. You know, you, you you work, so you have to take the bus or you drive. So you commute to work. That's that's the meaning. And then utilities, it's the bills that you have to pay, like the electricity, water a TV or something like that, uh, or gas. Those are the utilities, okay, or cable TV. Teacher, what is the service? Service, I mean, it's the same thing. Yeah, utilities, <laughs> the bills or the services, it's pretty much the same thing. And what is furnished? Furnished means that it has, 
It has the refrigerator, it has the drawers, pantry, it has uh, uh, sofas, tables, amueblado. Furnished. O sea que esta cipota quiere Furnished. todo. Quiere amueblado, lo quiere barato, quiere y espacio barato. en el parque. Eso por, eso le, por eso le. Por eso le. De la de cerca del trabajo, o sea. Por eso le, le dice Roger, any, anything else? Si quieres, yo lo pago. ¿Qué dice él? Algo más. Alright. Uh -huh. All right, so if you like, you practice again, but this time uh, switch the roles, but I gotta go, okay? Okay. But we need this cream. You have it, Noria. I, I also say, I also send this image in the chat. I send the chat at uh, this image. Oh, I do, but it's a little fun from campus and the commute is just, just killing me. Do you think you could help? I told you me know more about the housing situation near the school. Okay, what's your budget like? I mean, how much do you want to spend on rent? Uh, somewhere under $2,000 a month, including utilities, if I could. If I could. Uh, and I prefer to rent a few furniture apartment. Mm, and anything else? Yeah, I need a parking space. A space. Well, I know there is an apartment complex around the corner that seems to have a few vacancies. I'll drop by there on my way to class to class today. Hey, thanks a lot. All right, that that was a great practice, by the way. Good job. So, do you know the meaning of commute? Commute. This one. Comunidad. Commute. No, <laughs> actually, commute means <laughs> commute means com commutar, or in or it would be, ah, okay. yeah, like to take the bus to go to work, okay, or to drive to go to work. For for example, I live in Mexicanos, but uh, but my job is in Santa Tecla, so I commute to my job every single day. Okay, or I commute to work, you may say that. Viajar al trabajo, literalmente significa viajar al trabajo, commute. Okay, and then utilities. Utilities are, no utilidades, pero sino que son los services, like water, electricity, and then if you have gas or something. So in the States, that's the difference, because in there you have to pay everything, like one single bill, you know, gas, electricity, and water. And then that's why she's looking for somewhere under 200 a month. Y que ya tenga incluido los servicios. <laughs> yeah, not even here, you know, in, in El Salvador. So that's why Roger, that's why, that's why Roger asked anything else. O sea, quiere pagar menos de 200, que tenga los recibos incluidos y que no tenga que viajar y que necesita un espacio para parquearse. <laughs> Y, o sea, quiere que hasta pague él, pues. Ajá, uh -huh, yes, it's sarcastic. That's my point in there. It's sarcastic. So, anything else? You want me to pay for you? <laughs> y la quiere amue amueblada, you know, furnished, a furnished apartment, amue amueblada. Furnished. So, furnished apartment. Pretty much everything. Furnished. Okay. Nice. So, let's go back to the main station because it's time to go home. Okay. I mean, we're already home, but... <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I gotta say, uh, you know, goodbye to you. But before I do so, I need to point out to a couple of words over here. To a couple of words. So the first one, workout or working out. También significa hacer ejercicio. You know, if you work out, you go to the gym. So that means hacer ejercicio or, or ejercitarse. But in this case, workout or working out means está funcionando. Okay? Si funciona. Okay. O le está yendo bien. Commute means 
viajar por motivos del trabajo. That's the meaning of commute. Que trasladarse a commute, commutar. That's the, that's the meaning. Either way, if you travel by bus, agarran el Citran, toman el, uh, abordan el Citran, or you drive by yourself, or if you pay a, a Uber or something like that, or a taxi, o se van caminando, you commute. Okay. And then the next one, furnish. Bill. Bills son todos los recibos que usted paga, los bills. Yeah. The electricity, ah, okay. electricity, water. Eh, en este caso creo que eso. Ya si usted está en la Curazao o está en otro lado, it's a different story, right? <laughs> okay, those are the utilities. Furnished apartment, aquí se cubrió un poco, pero es furnished, es amueblado. O sea, un apartamento, una casa amueblada. That's why Roger asked anything else, and that's it. Entonces, up to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to continue practicing with this uh, topic. Okay, so hope you join, and then two more days, and then the uh, module is over. Y, y la meta fue cumplida. Okay. What is, what is vacancies? Vacancies. Vacancies means vacancies. 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 Uh, okay. Vacancies. Vacancies, okay. yes. All right, so have a great night, everyone. Hope to see you tomorrow. Oh, see you tomorrow. Good night. Um, have, have a great night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Goodbye, everyone. Good night. Bye. Good night. Goodbye, goodbye.